my summer with my family back home in New Zealand. I spent time with my niece, she's six years old, and she's reached that age where she's quite savage. And she's also like a bit of a narc, you know? Like she always tells on the kids that she goes to school with to me. She'll come up to me, and the thing she hates the most is when they swear. She'll come up to me and she'll be like, Auntie Mel, someone at school said the C word. And because I think kid swearing is quite funny, I'm like, what's the C word? <laughs> she says, crap. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Don't waste my time. <laughs> <laughs> then a full week passed, and she comes up to me again, and she's like, Auntie Mal, someone at school said the G word. I'm like, genuinely, what is the G word? <laughs> She leans in real close, whispers in my ear. She's just like, fuck. <laughs> Not the smartest girl in the world. <laughs> that lockdown home learning really did its toll. <laughs> but no, I, I feel like I'm so great to be out here gigging again. I feel like I'm in a weird spot in my career. I feel like I'm doing well, but not like crazy. You know, like, to give you an example, recently I had the experience of riding in a bus that had my face on it. <laughs> like that's incredible, because I'm operating on two wildly different territories. <laughs> like on one hand, my face is on a bus, but on the other hand, I'm still riding the bus. <laughs> I was at a party, I spilled a drink, someone said taxi, I was like, no, tram. Uh, <laughs> but it's good, I, I really hope this works out for me, you know, in the long run, because I've been bad at every other job I've attempted. You know, I used to work in radio, sucked at it. Um, I used to work in this radio station in New Zealand where we'd talk to a lot of um, cricket players, we'd also give away a lot of tickets to the Black Caps, the New Zealand cricket team. And one morning, I arrived at work, I had an email, just a random phone number on it. And I thought instantly, that's the number I'm supposed to call to give away some Black Caps tickets. It turns out uh, that that was Trent Bolt's number, who some people are realizing is in the Black Caps. <laughs> He's a fast-paced bowler. So I called up Trent Bolt, and I was like, congratulations. <laughs> You've won tickets to see the Black Caps. He was like, I'm in the team. <laughs> I was like, be grateful. <laughs> he was like, what the fuck? I was like, don't say the G word at me. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think that'll be great. Have a good night.